Welcome to Empire Blade, this is Rampin, and welcome back to my Roman Empire campaign for the Zodom Sword of War mod, where we're going to continue the up to from last time, where our invasion of Syracuse is going wonderfully right now, where the Autoresolve, I think, decided to pay me back for the um, breaching of the Geneva Convention um, 500 years before? Yeah, something like that. At least a couple hundred years. <laughs> where... I lost way too many men for this city here, but uh, we're just gonna have to try and deal with it. We'll have to try and bring some reinforcements over here. I think what we'll do, let's take this fleet immediately. Uh, I'll try and send them back over towards um, the yes, Greece, I'd say, and then maybe have just Greece just try and recruit a little bit more around here to give us, as we lost quite a few guys. So let's try and get some more infantry specifically for sure, some more cav units, some archers, try and just recruit some stuff that we'll send back over to try and help out, as that was painful. And hopefully we can kind of avoid something like that happening again. But we'll for now at least try and recruit some more guys around here. We'll send them back over. I think for right now what we'll do is I'll have Constantinos. Uh, you're going to sit around for a little bit and get some watchtowers built up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have you advance just yet. I'll have you kind of build these up. Hopefully you don't have any armies around here. So you're not attacked while you're doing that. Uh, but I want you to kind of light this area up. Kind of figure out like what's going on around here. I can get a spy in Syracuse. So I'll have you grab that, then we can have them move over, see what it looks like in Palermo, like what kind of troops are in there. Because there's not much. If there's any mercenaries I could easily try and just keep pushing um, right away, but I only had just these three, and it's a couple turns until you can actually recruit anything. And also, we're still trying to see, if because like right now, Ladislau, I actually have you ready to come back down this way. I think... Because I, ideally, I want to be able to push into you guys uh, quickly and kill you off so then I can put turn all my attention back towards um, Naples. So I think for right now, uh, I think they only, so they only have Contenza, and I believe there's only one city in this region, I believe. And so it's this one, and then Palermo. I think that's all they have. Um, let's see if that's going to be reflected right here. So that's Athens. They're dead. They're there. So they're right there. Let's see. Territorially... That looks like that was at four, and that is not considering what we just did to them. So I don't think that's considering that, so it should be at two. So, ideally what we'll do right now is let's take Ladislau. Um, let's see, so the fastest way is just going down around the right side. So let's kind of just make our way there, ignore this army. Potenza should hopefully be able to hold maybe one more turn. Maybe. Uh, I'll have to try and see what you guys can do. Uh, Toronto, I need you guys. You can't look at anything around here. I can keep getting some more stuff around here. You maybe even send those guys down to go reinforce my army in um, in Sicily. So I've got like these guys. So you're kind of gathering around here. Can you these guys return? No, no, no. That one can actually. That one actually will be retrained. Perfect. So you can grab that. And then building wise, I think. Um, let me get some better roads around here, maybe. Oh, there's a lot of corruption. Is there anything I can do to reduce corruption? I can get this monastery. I can grab that. Oh, actually, there's just gibbets. Grab the gibbets. Grab those. Um, buddy. You need to grab, I'd say, maybe I'll also grab that, honestly. Because at the moment, uh, you can recruit about as much as you can around here. So let's grab the prison to try and help out with all the corruption around here. And then Potenza. I'm going to hold off. I don't know if you're going to have enough time to properly do anything here. So we'll kind of hold off for that right now. Try and see if we can get uh, these guys to be killed off today. That'd be great, because the, they barely have anything over here. And it looks like they don't have much over here. So we'll try and see if we can maybe move out sooner rather than later. Depends on what my spy finds. So you can try and do that. Now, one other thing. Okay, this is a kind of a really cool idea that I, actually, I love. So I have my glorified um, watchtower builders that go around all the time just building stuff up. I also feel like we might try and have a glorified tax collector in relation to the um, the stolen treasure or the uh, enemy treasures, because those are ancillaries, and I can possibly, like, maybe this guy might be a bad idea because he has no loyalty, but I can take a general and try and just have him collect all those, because I don't know if the ancillary, because um, I think, let's see, I had one. Do I have any? Yes. I don't know where some of my armies went. Oh, you had one, I believe. Yeah, because I think you had one. No, you didn't. Somebody did. Somebody did around here. I'll have to, like, look around there. But the idea is um, gathering all those together in one general and then have them go back to my faction uh, capital. Because uh, the enemy tre treasure here. So this is 6,000 florins. I don't know if, like, if they're all 6,000 florins, I don't know if we can put multiple of those together. But it's something to try. And so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to take this guy because why not? This guy that was back here. I was originally going to have you help get rid of rebels, but you know what? Uh, I'll have you first at least get rid of this one group of rebels. It's like all of these guys hit here. Just to make sure that we can easily kill these rebels and get rid of them. Um, I don't want to actually have you join because your loyalty is shite. So I 
don't think I'm going to have you uh, join in. Yes. Um, literally just want you to do that one. And then let's have you go over so there was around uh, here. So let's make you move up there. The start course. trying to grab all those together and we'll see if I can have you gather them all and see if that can work. Um, I would love if we can do that and then just get a giant sum of money all at once. So I'll keep trying to, we'll go to that one first and we'll try and slowly find more. Um, also, I think these units I might send over to try and help reinforce Sicily. So let's have you kind of make your way down uh, this way. Try and have you go towards uh, Avalonos. My lord. Avalonos. Uh, you can try and make your way over there to be sent down there. Uh, and then I do have a couple extra troops around here. Yes. I'm going to keep trying to move you guys forward. Because for the most part, these areas are now pretty happy. And now we can kind of keep moving my front forward with you guys. I do want some more free up units around here. Like some javelins there just in case. Yes. But, let's move all of these guys up here, Hello. still trying to finish this army off, and now that it is the next turn, yes. we can. Yes. So, we can make sure all of you guys are here. You don't have movement, but you can go right there. And then let's leave, like, that one archer. Are they happy? Yeah, they're happy there. Now, please don't fail me this time, and actually win against these guys. There you go. Because then, I can bring all of these excess troops down to Sicily. Because, for the most part, again, I think we are fine... For the most part around these areas, I can basically just focus my faction leader and uh, Iowanes um, right around here on the defense here and keep pushing and trying to secure these regions from Austria. Um, but let's see, uh, is this next one? Because I want to start off with Gores, I think, today for one of the battles. Um, out of respect for the faction leader, I will fight this myself. I could just all resolve his ass to death, but because it is the faction leader, I will give him a chance to fight back. Because I don't think... Uh, he's going to really feel all that well. This is the castle, and also lets me try and test and see how many layers there are. Hopefully, there are multiple layers. If there are multiple layers, I can very easily defend this city. If there's only one, eh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to try and hold this area as I would like to. Because for right now, we're going to have to try and... So between my faction leader and Iwanes, we have to take all those cities and then hopefully focus all their attention onto, like, Gores, for the most part. It does look like there are multiple layers. So there are two layers? Yeah, there's two layers. So two layers. I'll have it so for the most part, we can just move most of my guys up a little bit closer. Start the battle. They've only got the one general, so let's just break down the gates. Uh, I'll actually bring one of my siege towers up as well, at least the one that has my crossbows. Because then we can easily just shoot them to death if they're going to try and fight us. There we go. Gates are down. Let's start sending in my melee calf here to start trying to kill him. I'm hopefully going to be able to kill him before he runs to the city center. So let's just try and move my horse archers around the backside. And then my infantry on the ladders. You will at least try and make your way forward. Uh, can you go to this spot? You can go hit here and here. So let's have you two try and make your way forward. All my other infantry will just kind of casually walk forward. Because honestly, I'll probably kill the enemy general before they even get here. But hey, I'll at least try it just in case. Because I'll send my melee infantry, melee calf first. I like a crown, man. I like a crown. Yeah. Melee calf rushing in here. My horse archers. I'll have you guys kind of go around the back side and just try and shoot them. So, like, try and go over right here, here, and here. Number wise, how is he doing? 43. Off to a decent start. Try and shoot them. This is just building captured stuff. 39. Now that my general's here, hopefully he'll be a bit faster. He's 33. Four archers are opening up on him. He's at 27, guys. We also just need to break you. If you run away, that's just as good as actually killing you straight out. Come on. 22, 20, 18. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 13, 12, 11, 7. Come on. Get the finishing blow on him. Where's the, where'd the man with the crown go? Where'd he go? I want to see him. I want to watch him specifically die. He's right here. He's trying to run. He's trying his best. Oh, did he actually get away? Uh, he just disappeared. Um, where did... Seriously, where did he go? He, like, teleported. Okay, there he is. Yeah, he's right here. So, again, focus him down. It's just him now. He's the only one left. I'll have my horse archers getting here as well to make sure he's fully surrounded. He doesn't actually run out. There we go. So now he's dead. That's a decent amount of men there, but not bad. So now we have Gors, and it is multiple layers. So we can very easily try and hold on to this area, and then hopefully just have either other armies um, kind of try and focus on claiming the settlements between the two cities, or two castles. Or I can have it so that once we build this area up enough, we can just leave a small garrison and then start trying to push on out ourselves. That's the hope at least. So, 
Gores is here. We now control this, which is perfect. Exterminate the populace there. And then we just need to start building up. So we need to make sure, yes, we're trying to make it into a core region right there. And then the other cities that I want to claim between here and here. Uh, oh, actually, I also need to remember. You were trying to find the Sali guy. I know you had him being Very tracked well. before, Happily but we lost mind. sight of him. Very well. Where is he? I shall He's not in Linz. Linz. He was around here somewhere. Happily, my lord. Because I want to try and find him. There was okay. also something that was suggested for uh, one of the generals from Austria. No, not Austria. Hungary. Um, was another person that I could possibly try and go after. I'd have to actually look at the... Oh, it was um, uh, Janos uh, Hunyadi. That's a, um, supposed to be a Hungarian general. That is another one we could possibly look into. Which, actually, let me check where all my other prints are. Hello, your Because you're way down here. You, could, you guys keep getting stuck. You keep getting stuck. So if you're trying to make your way up this way. Uh, yes. Multiple of you keep just getting stuck. On my way. So you keep going there. Hello, I still yes. don't know where that one guy went. And then you were trying to talk to... Oh, yeah, we're trying to be Vlad. I just don't have map information around here. So really, it is well. difficult to try and figure okay. out where the hell they are. Because I'm just Very randomly well. walking well. around Am I and trying to see... Oh, that's, that is that does look like a historical general, but not somebody I care about. Okay, so we can keep looking Happy around with long. you. So you'll just keep wandering. Try and do that. Trade increased... Feels unappreciated, how dare you? Okay, but no, what we do need to do around here is so all these forces. Okay, so I think I have enough men that I, can, I don't have to send them all at once, but I think what we'll do is I'll send at least one full stack. Let's say you. So let's have you make your way over here, and then I need to grab, um, let's say, four more units. Yes. And then I want to have it, so I think you... I want to give some troops, and I'm going to have you start trying to make your way up here and start trying to help claim these cities. Because I want to take these two settlements, because I think at that point then, this will kind of be our defense against Austria and possibly also push Napola. Because basically these three right here, once we take these three here, we then kind of hold that Gorus until we're ready to start pushing from the north in Italy. Which will basically be once I'm done with you guys and I've been able to kind of start pushing into Rome. Well, actually, I almost think I'd like signify it that once I hit Rome, that's when we start attacking from the north as well. I kind of like that idea, at least. We'll have to see. Um, Mercy smaller. This is futile. There we go. Okay. But yeah, we'll send you. And then I think we'll at least have it so like you. Yes. I'll have, like, I only have four unit slots. Uh, I'll probably just, like, take, like, each of these four. Like, just take these four, bring them along. That means at least a full stack army is for sure going over to help out with uh, Italy. And then I can have it so that around here, you three will start making your way up. Use you to try and take, uh, Labak. Uh, Labak, uh, somewhere along those. You can go there. Now, building-wise, let's see what else can I grab. I'm going to have you, again, right now corruption is going to be a huge issue for us as we keep pushing further from our capital. Um, let's get the gibbets first. I'll get the gibbets and then queue up the hermitage as well. Hermitage will help with some conversion. And then that will, a total, will get rid of about like 300 corruption in this one city. So let's have you do that. Is there anything else I want to specifically grab around these areas? How good is that mine? Ooh, that's actually a good mine for once. Ooh. Uh, again, I think corruption is the main thing. So let's grab another one of the hermitages. Let's grab that. Nothing around here. Buddha. I almost might want to start Your killing. Order, Ooh! I am not here to He's negotiate Dietrich. the truth. Want to look the handsome? You guys aren't specifically in, uh, like unique here, Star Wars characters, sadly. I want to keep an eye out for that because I do want to try and fall. find. If I can steal more um, fa family members from Austria, I will gladly do so. Because at the moment, I don't believe they're going to accept that piece from me. Because my diplomat is right here. Know. You can talk to them. Who is this? That's just a captain. No, that is a general. That is a general. So let's have you kind of make your way over here. And let's see. Will you... Oh, I could offer vassalization. What do you guys think of a ceasefire? Very demanding. I see. I see. I do not think you would accept... What about if I or offer to vassalize you? Become a vassal, bitch. <laughs> Try it. Not interested. You don't say you don't want to become vassalized by the rogue, glorious Roman Empire? Okay. I guess not. Let's see, is there any, I don't think there's anything else. I have a little bit more money, but I don't think I'm enough to really get a ton of else. Let's see. Uh, actually, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to get more farms there? You can grab that, and then I think. Ah, uh, look at that other market. Slowly but surely, we'll continue to improve our economy until it is worthy of being claimed as a Roman economy. Because again, at the moment, my economy is okay. It's not as good as I would like it to be. 
Oh, this poor bastard. I just offered you a chance to end the war with Hungary and us. And you decide to reject it. So now you get to die. <laughs> As this is actually the very unique settlement as well. I'm glad that for once we finally get to try and defend around here because there's only one fucking entrance. Um, they didn't. Oh, wait, I wasn't paying attention enough. I don't believe I, I wasn't paying attention enough to notice if they had any siege equipment that like cannons. If they don't have any cannons, we should be okay. Otherwise, I can possibly maybe just try and send out some cav to try and harass and kill off their artillery pieces because you can. They can destroy the walls fairly easily enough because we did test it out myself when I was playing uh, to take this area. But for the most part, there's one entrance to the city. I'm kind of sad I don't have any Greek fire in this army Our because that would be fucking be the beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Because I've got you guys. Depends if I can put stakes up here, actually. That's a good question. Okay, good again. Okay, good again. Okay, um, and then they do not have any cannons. Okay, I do hate that they have some other stuff. I could also just try and focus just defending back here if I really wanted to. Because if I can put them back here... I can put stakes up there. But part of me does want to kind of hold up a front. Partially. So I think what we can do is, thankfully, the way this works is I can have my cab that I want to send out um, rush up here. And have you guys set up in front here. At least some of you. Uh, and then have it so you guys can run out of the fort here. And then I'll probably just have to have you like stay outside. So you're not accidentally killed by the stakes trying to return. So, like, uh, you four, I'll try and group you guys up around here. We'll try and send you out that way if I can. Um, but we'll try and have it so. Stakes. Put you guys, like, right there. And then another group of stakes. A little bit further behind them. If they'll work. Like, this is just fucking mean. I have all my infantry set up here. Uh, I'll pull my archers back. I can have you guys up on this uh, elevated position. Same with my cannons. <laughs> so you guys will just be the ones sitting there. Let's have my cavalry first and foremost run you guys out. I'm going to let them break the gates down. I want to just get everybody else off of the other stuff. And then let's just try and have it so that you guys can try and pull back here a little bit. Kind of go back here and right here. So you go all there. Make sure you get the scrubs from off. And then I just need to have it so that my infantry, you just need to hold here. I'll have you guys, like, right here. So that they have to go through at least two layers of stakes to get to my infantry units. So all of you guys just hold that position. Then we wait for all the fun bits. So we need to have it so that, like, you guys just kind of yeah, run off to the side here. You guys run off to the side here. And hopefully we can get them off of their siege equipment for the most part. And let them just get through the ramps. Because they have plenty of cav that I'm okay with letting them rush forward. Uh, so at the moment, just keep trying to focus on that way. Ooh, these are Teutonic Spearmen. Oh, nice. I haven't seen this unit in the game just yet. Oh, I like it. Okay. Everybody else around here, though, I think you'll want to kind of hold off on shooting just yet. Just to make sure you kind of save your ammo. They really do not know, understand how to attack no the city, it seems like, for some ours. reason. These archers, I don't know what they're doing. Them. Oh, they finally routed and broke, or dropped the ram, or they dropped the ladder finally. There you go. So now, here's the, here's the fun bit. Uh, you guys need to just keep running away as they're bringing their cav over you, and I don't want to deal with them. So just try and run away. Although we're kind of in a, we have a moat here. So um, there's not much, not many areas for you guys to run to. Yeah, see, same with these cav. You guys just kind of run away. I don't think they're going to use the, the other seed equipment. Doesn't seem like they're really bringing anything up besides their cab units. Oh, no rams. Yeah, the other rams should be moving up. But I'll have it so that like, all of you guys just kind of run to the backside of the moat, I guess. Because there's not much else I can have my cab do. They are starting to send their infantry in. Let's have my skirmishers start unloading on them. And then let's have you use... Uh, actually, maybe not use the... Oh, I'll wait. wait until you guys start blobbing up more a little bit. At the moment, you guys are doing fine against them. Uh, you guys are fighting, but that's okay. I'll have it so that you'll kind of distract them so that everybody else can get away. I pray the Number wise, of let's see. 10% of their forces are already dead, so off to a pretty certain. good start. Uh, can you not shoot anybody from where you're at? I guess not. I can try and move just you a little bit right here. Try and go there. And there you go. Come on. Bring in the cav. Bring in the cav units. Please? They're trying to shoot me for right now, so once they run out of ammo, they'll start making their way forward. So they caught my cav. I can't get them away. Uh, and they're bringing in just their infantry stuff. I'm going to start unloading on them with my artillery pieces now. I want to see how... <laughs> Please be accurate with your shots. Please be accurate with your shots. We're off to a good start so far. 20% of their forces are now dead. And... Oh, that hit most of my men. That hit most of my men. Yep. But... Some of their forces are now breaking. So I think maybe that one shot is a good warning shot for them. 
where they can realize that I don't mind shooting my own men. Let's try one more time on these crossbows they're trying to walk their way on in. Because at the moment, still not sending their artillery pieces, but we're up to 40%. Uh, that was better. Far better. Didn't hit any of my own men. Just, did, no, just another warning shot. Because that's enough to get them to break, which is perfect. I can't have died now at this point. So we've lost about 23% of our horses overall. Uh, I think, again, once they run out of ammo on these horse archers... I think that's when they'll start trying to properly rush on into melee. And now that my cab is dead, they'll bring their other... Oh, wait. They're kind of moving. Are you going to start trying to rush forward now? Uh, not rushing, but they are casually walking forward. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get them to finally die at the stakes. No, because you're casually walking, only a couple of you will die. But some of them are at least making their way forward now. Ah, uh, the German knights didn't rush on in. Okay, start sh shooting them with the artillery piece as well. Because number-wise, see, we're almost about half the enemy force now at this point. I would wish you guys would try to charge in a little bit faster, but if you're not going to, that's fine. Uh, this is why I have cat art artillery pieces. <laughs> oh, they're bringing the ram up. Try and shoot the ram. Sure, yeah, break the ram. It's, it's sitting there. It's, it's, just, it's just pushing through, really? It just... Yeah, it just continued to push on through. Uh, you can stop firing now. The enemy are bad we have stolen die. their ram, they so they have, have no way to get into the final layers now. Although they have actually, no, they have two more, three more rams back here if they really want to use them. But that just gives me more cover. I think this is their final assault. The general's finally here. They're trying to bring another ram forward. They've lost about 75% of their forces at this point now. I think it's basically just this one spearman left. But hey, I'm about to try and shoot you with the artillery pieces, so we'll see how that's going to work out for you. Uh, my infantry is almost all dead, which is kind of concerning. But I'm hoping a good couple shots from my artillery piece here will break all of them. Especially since I don't have to worry about you guys getting forward as much. And now it's point blank range. Okay, sure. I can just keep doing Lord. this, I guess. I do have my general still, uh, who might be able to break these spearmen. Disgrace. Let's keep getting a couple more shots with the cannon. Point blank range, please. As it's almost on top of you guys. For the moment, the fortune just of this one, shoot. Our way. No? Let's pray it remains as Not gonna fire? Okay, start charging there. You guys go off to the side a little bit. Let's see if we can break them with my general. Yep, there we go. They broke instantly as soon as my men charged down here. Their general's still not dead yet. Let's kill him off. This is one of them because they had two. So let's have you try and kill him. Be careful of chasing him. Uh, they are breaking now. Uh, let's try and... Yeah, let's try running down. Let's maybe see if we can at least get this guy. No? Not going to give up? Okay, no, he is dead. So we got one. So we got the main general. Uh, don't think we can catch the other guy. What's the spearman? That's just another spearman, but I think charging him should be fine. Because for the most part, now that their main general's dead, a good charge from you guys should do them in. Because this is just one of the castle spearmen. Eager and lost. Ah, eh, not that many, actually. Let's kind of pull back. Let's have one off to go to the side, one off to the side here. And then we'll pro try and properly charge him. There and there. Fully surround him. He is shaken. Uh, do not chase him if he's going to run into the city because of the stakes. There we go. The Lord above. This is Our what you guys get when you decide humbled. to not become my vassal. Let all who remember this <laughs> or don't decide to just give me my peace. You have to fight glorious. fights like this where I... Man, it's not as bad as the bridge battle we did last time, but still. Literally just having a bunch of stakes. Sadly, they just didn't want to charge on in. They casually walked forward, so the other cab didn't die to the stakes. Sadly. It's the one time it doesn't happen. But we still have a really good position to be able to focus my archers onto shooting one little spot fairly easily, which is great. So it's right next to you. You guys do need to get some reinforcements around there. And you are besieging Buddha. Wow, that's a bad idea. Do you not see the full two-stack armies that are outside of the city? Okay. I'll have to deal with those guys the next turn then for sure. We'll try and take both those armies, surround him, and attack him from multiple angles. And then he's going to die pretty easily. He'll be fine. Push him away from Buddha. And the then... Hello, Lord, Bohemia. What would you like to discuss? Nothing? Uh, already. Thieves Guild and Idera? Um, hey, you know what? I, won't, I don't mind accepting that. Um, ooh, the fourth Hussite Crusade. I see. Uh, this is what the Bohemians were telling me about. That's obviously got to be what was going on up there, possibly. Okay, nice. Um, then also there was the discovery of Antelia. Ooh. Oh, nice. 
I, I really wish we could have an updated like mod that like has a proper full expansion uh, or I, I just kind of wish we had a campaign that focused more on like the America's Discovery aspect of Medieval 2 because I always loved that campaign aspect. Um, let's see, so you guys are Siege and Seer. Yes, we know about that. Oh, that's currently their king. Hello, King Thieves, right? I, I, I'm curious because I don't, I didn't kill an heir and you're just the faction leader now because you were prince last turn. Um, I would find hilarious if I somehow killed you guys through uh, Regicide. I highly doubt it, but it would be great. So let's have you kind of push on up here. And he ran away. Uh, let's see, so I can go from this angle. You try and push this guy away if you can. You cannot. Okay, so what I can do is from this angle here. I can fight it just with this. If you fight it with just this army here, we'll have we have the advantage here. We can kill you off. So let's do that. Get rid of these guys. So then we outnumber them four to one. Let's kill the king of Hungary. As I tried to offer you a piece. Try to state, hey, Rome now controls everything west of the Danube. Get the fuck out of the Danube and you can survive for now. As long as you guys leave me alone, I will let you stay alive for now. Until I decide to properly start making my way back east. Because I think what we're going to be doing, um, because at the moment we're focusing so much of our attention on to um, Rome. Once we take Rome and Italy, I will just keep pushing into Germany and Bohemia and push into those guys. And then, from there, we can just start pushing eastward generically against everybody that we're fighting. Honestly, I would kind of love if um, my final war, my absolute final war, is against uh, the Bulgarians. Because, at the moment, surprisingly, they haven't betrayed me yet. Although, it was brought up the idea that if I do kind of go about and start trying to gather all of my money together... Um, the enemy treasuries that I've been gathering together from all my wars. If I do that, Bulgaria might decide, hmm, this is a perfect time for us to betray you as you're running through our lands with thousands of gold that you stole from your enemies. I could very easily see that being anything that they might do. So, we'll hope they don't so that I can try and get all that money. I think I'm almost uh, like about a turn or two away and then I can start trying to gather that money together. I think if we're, if we're going to do that, more than likely, I'll probably have to gather them just one at a time. As long as they're a unique treasury, I think a treasure. I think I can bring it back. I think it's if they are the same cost. It's not going to do anything. That's my expectation, at least. Uh, let's see, Melikav. Let's bring you guys over here. Let's try and help out with some of the men that they're trying to send over to the side. My infantry is going to get their asses kicked. That's kind of be expected um, because I have some shit infantry. At least you guys are really bad. So we need to try and have it. So what we can do is let's kind of focus on the sergeants. The king is. Currently chilling in here. Horse archers, just keep trying to do your thing, like all of you guys. You're almost done with this mounted sergeant, so as soon as he's dead, bring you back over here. And probably specifically try and target the king if I can. He's right about here. Yeah, the royal bender. I'm going to have you guys start trying to focus on them. Over here, try and get rid of this mounted sergeant so we can bring these guys back over to the side. Because at the moment, I don't know what the hell these Hungarian swordsmen are doing, but I'll leave you to your own devices. That's fine. See, 36 to 29. That's not bad. Almost done with them over here. Yeah, there we go. They're shaking. And I caught them in melee. Just trying to group you guys up around here. That's what I want to do. So get right back over here. With my infantry's all dying. That's not surprising. I was kind of expecting that, honestly. So let's have you just kind of keep grouping up here. Need to focus on their general still. Oh, I still have a lot. Oh, they have two general bodyguards in here. Shit. Um, just unload on either one. If you can shoot one, just shoot, shoot them. My these guys over here. Oh, try and shoot this one. Oh, that's not a general, but it is another melee cab unit. So let's try and have my general focus on them, hold them at bay. 44 to 36. Yeah, if you guys can. I need to keep moving these guys a little bit more, kind of bring the forces back over here. So the swordsmen, they're just kind of wandering about. I don't care about you. We only care about dealing with their general. So like, try and get over here, try and regroup, and then all of you kind of also help out against the general spider, who's at a little bit better. Uh, there's one with 22 and one with like 41. I don't know which one is the faction leader. It's one of those guys. Oh, who is chasing you? That is just a generic general's bodyguard, or just a generic cab unit. This one's almost dead here. Okay, because again, horse archers, your job right now is to keep trying to focus on the general. Keep trying to kill him, although you guys at least try and get over here and shoot this one. Try and focus this one down. These guys are at least close enough that they can try and shoot him. You still are 41 the other one. 20. Oh, you could kill like nobody. I gotta give it to my spearmen here. You guys are desperately trying to hold. 
Uh, I almost have it so that almost everything besides just these guys are dead. So I'm going to have my melee cab try and see if you can get rid of the swordsman. There we go. They're breaking. Perfect. Then I need to have it so that all of you need to keep focusing on the general, who is still not dying. Uh, all of Only you... Half the enemy force <sighs> this unit is still 30 guys. Because they're doing well. I've killed 70% of their forces, but it's just they don't want to die. So, Kev, okay, you pull back here. Just, need to just keep unloading on them here. A lot of my men are breaking. Those are just the infantry units. You're still... Oh, you're fighting to the death now. Okay, so at this point soon, we're going to be on, uh, focusing on just their general's bodyguard. Oh, you guys actually just need to keep focusing on this one here. I'll try and bring my general over here if I can. You are really far away. Really far away. Holy shit. Okay, because I'm going to try and see if I can get you over there. All of you... Let's see. I might have to actually focus all my attention on these guys here. Because they're not giving up. So if you have ammo, I need you to try and stay away and keep shooting things. If you don't, try and get in melee here with us and try and help us out killing and killing them. So we can just try and overwhelm them. So you two still have ammo. Pull back. You still you're on you're now. Get in there, fight melee. Okay, they're starting to lose men. This one's at twelve. This one's at twenty. So you've lost half your units now. Uh, these guys still have ammo. Keep trying to shoot them. Everybody else, though. Try and focus on this one right here. Focus on him. Uh, you're not doing that well. He's at 20. Slowly you're killing him now. So keep that up, please. Just don't lose my general. I'm going to knock on some wood. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was not my general. That was not my general. Okay. So we killed one of the enemy generals. Uh, you guys still have a little bit of ammo. Keep trying to soften them up for us. He's trying to run away, so if he's trying to run away, let him be shot at for a little Our bit. Army is tiring. Charge him when he gets close. Your armor's out of ammo. 83 to 78. Come on, we just have to kill the king. Once the king dies, the rest sunset, of you will break. But our men are and winning if you guys are running out of ammo, I need you to try and regroup victory. with us over here. Try and make your way back so we can have everybody work together. Because let's see. At the moment... I can't see any are left here. Oh, there's like nine guys. Okay, there's nine guys over here. Let's have all of you group up. Try and help. I know some of you still have ammo. At least one of you does. You still have ammo. Try and bring your forces over here. You're all trying to run over here as well. Please outrun that other guy. This one only has eight now. So literally everybody, try and kill this guy. Because this should be the king. Oh no, the king's back here. Oh fuck. We remain true and oh shit. Victory will be ours. Can I still win this? I mistook the one with 20 that was also around here to be the general. No, we haven't killed any on the general's bodyguard. Shit. Okay, well, that makes things more difficult. Okay, bring everybody together. Everybody together, same spot. If you still have ammo, try and use it. It's like you over there. You two are the only ones with ammo still. Okay, so kind of go off to the side. Everybody else trying to group up here. Focus on the one with, uh... Which one is it again? It's the one with 30. It's the one with 30 is the one we have to focus on. Yeah, the ones with the ammo, keep kind of staying over here. Keep blasting that horn. So yeah, it's the one with, like, 24 now. You're the one I want to focus on. You two try and focus on this one until your ammo's out. Uh, 94 to 90. It's close. Yeah, keep that one distracted. If you can keep that one distracted, I can have everybody else focus this guy, because he's at 10 now. Is in our favor. He's if a stubborn king. And Victory will be ours. Let's see, you are at 7. Keep it up. Oh, is he running? He's at 8. He's at 8 guys. As long as I don't lose my general randomly... Uh, I should be okay, because he has more men than him now, so... That equals out that we should be fine. She just keeps running away occasionally. Finally! It took long enough to kill you, King Dutre. So you're now dead. I just need to get this other unit to break, which a good charge should do it. There's only like four of them left. There we go. See, now this is what, this is what happens when you cross the Danube. You kill far more men than, I had, than you had, but you lose your king. So I lost way too many men there. I recovered a couple, but uh, this army is practically worthless now, as I lost three fourths of my army there. Ouch! Uh, but we did kill the king in if for it at least. Then again, this was an army that was just a bunch of mercenaries, so I'm not surprised it lost so many. I will just have to try and get them a couple more reinforcements, hopefully, um, around here.
because at the moment, uh, Buddha is still not uh, self-sufficient in defense. So we will need to get some more reinforcements over here at some point. And we didn't capture him, sadly. But I'll execute you guys. There you go. Yeah. Um, I have, like, nothing. Um, honestly, technically, you have good command, so maybe this won't fuck me over. Yeah. Just make sure they're both dead. Oh, he died. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bartholomus the Wrathful um, died in that attack. Okay, I was not expecting that, but sure. Uh, I'm going to have you be the one that watches over Buddha now. So you can kind of go in here, try and retrain any units you are able. So you'll kind of watch over the city. Um, and then I think for around here, let's see. I'm going to grab... There's actually not a lot of corruption around here. I'll try and grab some bullet towers, I guess. Grab some bullet towers here. I'm going to try and get better roads around here. Uh, I think for you. Council Chambers, yeah, get some Council Chambers. That'll help out with Law a little bit. I don't really want anything around there. Or here. Uh, get the better chapel. That'll work. Okay. So for Siege, we... Uh, okay, your Siege is there again. The idea strike, is... <sighs> okay, so if we do this. Okay, so if I... Because right now... Okay, first let's check this. So you here... Keep making me over here. I want to see what they have around you. So they don't actually have that much around Palermo. They've got those five units. Then they've got these. Oh, yeah. We can easily push out. So let me leave behind uh, you. There's only ten of you. Oh, the place is pissed off. Um, Lower the taxes, and it's good. And then you again can't get anything. So let's see. How far can you get? So you can go to here. Go right there. Let's have you join up with this army. And then get another watchtower around here. Yes, Lord. I seek that honorable general. engagement. So we'll have you just trying to push over to Palermo. And hopefully what we can do. Also, I'm gonna get the I don't have enough money for the gibbets. Damn. I was gonna say, we can try and grab that. Um what I'm gonna do, Ladislau. I'm gonna try and push through this army, get them out of my way. Oh, I might be able to do it now. I think actually I can barely do it now. So let's, let's do it this way. So right here. Make sure you hit the city. Nobody's in the way. Perfect. Then bring you. And I did have a cannon in this army, correct? Yes, I did. Um, it took me two turns to get there, though. Yes, crossing for battle. Can Potenza hold out that long? Maybe. I'm gonna hope they do. If Potenza can hold out, I can kill them literally next turn, uh, or, or in two turns. Because at the moment, right now. Um, okay, yeah, Corinthianos, yeah, you guys are good. You already have those movement orders. You can bring them over. Um, because Ladislaw right here, as long as the Otter Resolve isn't a bitch. Uh, this is the Prince. Prince Arredio. Uh, you know what? Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Since I've had some pretty bad, uh, ex uh, defense, or battles with you guys. Um, pretty bad luck in these assaults. Let's kill them for sure. Also, we'll do this battle ourselves to make sure these guys are dead. And then... I could actually bring that fleet back over this way, pick up Ladislav next turn, and maybe just have him go for Palermo. If I have enough movement, I might do that. Because it's going to take a couple turns anyways to get the men all gathered and ready from Athens and Greece. So I think for right now, I might do that. So once this battle's done, I'm going to bring that fleet back over this way. That's our deployment. It's just one layer here, so this is pretty simple. So just bring you guys forward, grab all my skirmishers, Group you guys together, and then my cab together. There we go. So there, there. Start the battle. Let's have you move up. And for the most part, hopefully they just kind of sit in the city center. As long as you guys sit, just sit back there, I can slowly bring my forces up and absolutely slaughter you. Okay, perfect. So the moment they've taken their infantry out, try and bring their cab over as well. I'm going to start trying to have it so that Ladislaw and these two other units will try and run over here. I'm going to have these two try and rush over and immediately try and flank this dismounted... Uh, I'm going to get a unit. And then ideally, what will happen is if I can have it so that Ladislaw and his men can kill the general's bodyguard, they'll all break. I can just shatter them all and capture all these men as they try and make their way back to the city center. They've already lost 13% of the forces. So now you just need to finish off the general's bodyguard. And it depends on like what the spearman does. Uh, you guys are going the wrong way. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to go around this way so you can flank it. And hopefully, thankfully the Spearman... Oh, you are just walking away from Ladislaw. Oh, that is a bad idea. Oh, that is a bad idea. I'm just going to slaughter you. 
Yep, I am absolutely slaughtering all of you as you're trying to walk away from him. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, try and bring these cav over this way. Through this alley, please. So that we can actually try and surround this unit. Um, they are wavering already. How'd you surround my spearmen? What the hell? Okay, I don't know how you did that. Um, but yeah, keep trying to focus on them. The general's bodyguard is at 12 men now. So as soon as the last thou kills them, I'll probably have it so that maybe I'll try and just surround the spearmen. Because the moment he's just standing there, menacingly, uh, just waiting. He's just waiting for his general to die, yeah, I guess. You could help him. The enemy general nope. is okay. dead. You're, you're not going to help Send your prince. Okay, so now, once this prince is dead, like fully, his bodyguard's dead, or breaks, then I'm going to charge the spearmen. Come on, right about. There go. Okay, charge the spearmen now. He is now going to be surrounded and hopefully break. No? Not even from there. Okay, I thought you were going to die from that. Okay, let's pull you guys back here. You can just run away. Just make sure they just can't get back to the city center. So kind of pull back here, here, and here. And then my infantry, let's just have you kind of push forward to the spearmen. Or actually, uh, actually cancel that order, I'd say. We don't need you to fight them. I can just have my archers shoot them. So kind of pull back here if you can. Skirmishers try and open up on this spearman. Try and focus on him. Or if he's going to fight my infantry, then I can surround him. Yeah, there you go. So now all of you guys are fighting him. He's a stubborn bastard. Is that formation attack of his? So let's get all of my cav here. All of you, not just Sladislav, please. All of you need to try and charge this guy and break him. He is shaken. Your general's dead, so I'd expect you guys to start breaking. There we go. Uh, I'm going to get them just a, some more experience. Let's just capture him. There we go. There you go. Okay, that's good enough. So now, they just have one more city, and as long as they don't take Potenza, I will kill them soon. Now let's go check and see whether or not we can grab that fleet of mine. Because I just moved it recently, so it hasn't gotten back to Greece just yet. I might be able to bring them back close enough that next turn I can have them pick up Ladislao or uh, Constantine. Either one honestly works. It depends on which one's closer to the coast. And then try and take out Palermo next turn. So kill them, exterminate that area. And then let me see that, that ship. So I can actually... Oh, I could be like right here. Yes, my lord. That might, maybe. Because this area here, um, actually, let me first do this. So, let me strike take you guys out of here. Let me just test something. Oh, yeah, because I don't want to move with you. So, I can't move out just yet. I want to. So, we have barely enough movement to get here. Okay. I'll have you start getting making this core region. Let's try and do that here and here. And that's about all the money we have. If anything, Orders. next turn... Because you don't have that much Orders. movement. I could actually just bring you yes. up here, pick this guy up, and then I might have enough movement to hit them there. Hopefully. Because please, give me one more turn. Give me one more turn with Potenza, please. I might be able to get another bullshit defense out of Potenza. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to try and see. Uh, I would love if we could. Um, let me do go check on... Where'd that guy go? You Here you are. Because you, again, are trying to make your way over to start trying to gather some of that money. Also, I don't need nearly as many men here as I have. So we can kind of push these guys forward. I think I'll have you just move up generally up this way. Try and help with a garrison in that area. Don't have money to build anything up right here, sadly. Um, how's conversion going? Is it 52%? It's better. Uh, again, let's try to group you guys all up into this one army so it's just easier to manage all of you. It's like there, there, and there. And I should probably get some more, because some of my priests are getting quite old, and uh, I don't know how much longer they're going to be with us. So I should probably grab a bunch more of you guys. Also, I do not want to forget about these armies, because you can get to the ship. I can start having you sail down this way. I'm going to actually have you try and help with, with San Severo. So you can kind of go over there. Uh, all of these armies, I'll start making you push on up north, and I'll start gathering you guys around here. All of you stay together. But for the most part, we'll be trying to have you lead these men to claim the cities between Gors and between Sili. Because if we can take these settlements, I'll, probably, I'll start with uh, this one first, uh, Laibach. You can hit that first. Then I think, honestly, we might hit the Pola, because Pola has, like, nothing in here. And it's uh, controlled by Venice, so there's not there's nothing around there, really. And then we can try, uh, at the end, to push into Sanctivit. Although, maybe, I should actually have you guys go for Pola first, since it's the weakest, then go up north. I might actually do that instead. 
So we'll have it so that you guys are going to keep making your way over more around to Pola instead. So take about three turns to get over there, and then we can try and finally push Venice out of this area. Because it was so long ago that we originally started making our way over this way to start conquering. And only now are we finally able to properly push them back. Ah, damn it. So you guys are going to attack here, at least with Naples. Um, that I, I'm not going to be able to do anything against this army, sadly. I will let you guys take it. I really? You think it only killed one man? No. Um, that's fine. I have my army that's on that fleet right now. I can have them reclaim San Severo. As long as they don't put that army, other army in there, it should be pretty easy to just re-siege it. Okay, here's the question. Are you going to attack Potenza? My lord, the enemy lazy. No. What shall we do? No, they didn't. Okay. Okay. I can do something with this. So now... I think they might have actually taken their army off of Potenza and brought it down that way to try and siege Messina. Which is still another issue, but I think we can even, if it's, we want to, um, Ladislaus should have night battle. He can kind of attack that force and have it so the other army that's right next to it isn't going to matter. Um, otherwise, we could just try and hit Palermo right this turn if we have enough movement. Maybe. Again, yeah, more corruption. Randomly up over 50,000 again. So let's see. So... No, they are sieging Potenza too. Oh shit! Okay, this is a captain. Name the field of battle. We will this guy right there. here is. Oh, this is their king. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes. Okay. So let's let's first do this. So let's get out of here. Yes. There's no mercenaries. Okay. There's no mercenaries. Um. I'll just leave behind you. Just the, the the weakest unit that we have right now, and just hold off on getting that for right now. Ladislaw. Yes. Golden up the man. Damn it. I can't get as far as I would like. Okay, um... Uh, you actually still don't have... Ah, uh, fuck, I fucked yes. up your movement. Damn, okay, it doesn't matter then. Just grab Ladislaw. Because I was going to think, maybe instead we could go and go with our one idea, but no. Sail down this way. Actually, I can take some others. No, you can't get to the coast in one turn. Okay, so let's just keep pu pushing to Palermo. This is where we shall meet the enemy. So, a good day's march. God will see justice served Messina in might fall. We would see you dead. I don't have a movement to hit that this turn. It's I just the king and a hand gunner. Please give me one turn. Give me one fucking turn and I can kill you. That's all I need. Uh, more priests are dying. Yeah, a lot of you guys are dying around over this area. Like there and then this one here. Uh, this is why I'm getting more of them. So yeah, just keep getting more priests. Gather them together in this army. Uh, same with you. Okay, so we're there, there, and there. And then we actually have now a lot of money, so I can go build some more stuff. Ooh, nice. Okay, so around here. Um, let's see. Do you have a port? You do have a port. You have a base port. Um, let's get the conversion buildings. You already have gibbets. You do already have gibbets. Okay. Let's see, around, uh, Potenza again is siege, not gonna worry about that for right now. Uh, Sili, I will grab the gibbets here, or actually... What's Landstrom archers? Oh, those are, yeah, they're okay. Landstrom crossbowmen. I can get these archers here if I get this next, so let's actually maybe do that instead. Cause Sili, uh, oh, that will get rid of a decent amount of corruption. Yeah, no, we'll grab that. Yeah, let's grab that for the year. Um, let's see. I need to make this a core region. I think I'll just grab that now, I guess. Um, let's have you guys get the roads. Let's see. That's not a bad unit. Um, let's have you keep upgrading the military buildings you've got around here. We need to keep focusing on that right now. Because we don't have nearly as many as I would like up front. Uh, you don't have a port. Okay, get the port then. Grab the port there. Uh, you're a little unhappy, so let's get something for public order. So let's grab the hermitage here. Well, actually, that does a net doesn't do anything really. Although there is conversions and issues, so I will grab that. I can also lower the taxes here for a little bit just to make it so you're a bit better. Nothing there. Toronto, get the better roads again, just to make it so it's a bit easier for us to kind of walk around these areas. So grab that um, around here. You guys need more growth and get some more money. So let's grab the farms there. Um, Pasega, I think for you, let's get the better chapel around here. Uh, Leche, I'll have you get the better roads. Ragusa, I'll have you get the better irrigation system. Bona, they're also a little unhappy, so let's get the better chapel. Because you still haven't fully converted this area. Ooh, this is, oh, <laughs> that's a slave market. Okay, um, 
sure why not i guess and it'll eventually help out our economy um around here i think let's get the yeah we have a lot of corruption a lot of corruption around here so let's get some gibbets also get some more gibbets actually what are these mines oh those mines aren't bad no i'll get the fun i'll get the mines around here grab those mines and then that's about as much as i want to spend for right now so kind of hold off then let's see so where's that one in general where do you go my glorified tax collector and my glorified watchtower builder you're doing both jobs at the moment so keep making your way up to Prosega. Uh, oh, it wasn't you. It was uh, over here. Yeah, this army had one. So I'll have it so that you right now. Let's take this army out of here. Um, although it's making you go further away. Uh, okay, I'll have you wait. Uh, wait around here until this other general gets to you. Then he can grab the. Ta he, can, he can tax you. Uh, tax you for your winnings. Then you can start making your way out. Try and help out up here. As the moment, these armies are slowly making their way forward. So keep kind of going up here. Here. Also build some watchtowers as you're moving forward. So kind of move up this way. Because I'll have you three try and make your way over to Pola. Oh, hopefully by the time that you guys get to Pola, this army will be able to possibly start moving out because it will be taxed. You guys can then make your way over to Laibach. And then uh, after that, you can both group up together and then make your way up to this city. Same thing. That should work out perfectly. Now, I really want to see... Yes. I want to do one more turn end and see whether or not we get to kill you guys off this video. I might be able to. I might be able to, although I should not forget about uh, Sili up here. We're still trying to find that asshole. I still don't know where the hell he is. Hello, he's supposed highness. to be... I, I know he saw him going up this way Happy last time I had him. Oh, well. uh... On my way. No. That's the faction air, though, currently. Oh, crap, right? I shall approach okay. this belly. So he's not there. Um, what about in wine? I can't tell if he's in there, maybe. We can bring you over Very here. Well. Keep trying to send my uh, princesses over there, but we'll have to try and find him again at some later date. For right now, though, I want to try and see if we can get lucky. If they don't attack Potenza, if they don't attack uh, Messina, they die next turn. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. They didn't. They did nothing. Um, oh. That army has entered Austria. Nice. I'm okay with this. I am very okay with this. Orders. Especially with. Okay, now we have to fight it because I don't Rosing fucking trust the auto resolve. Because knowing your luck, I could lose the rest of this army. Let's fight this, kill this army off, and then we will be able to kill these guys off. And I will have the southern boot of Italy properly under my control. And we can then start bringing more forces over here and properly start finishing off Naples. Because at this point in time now, this is when we start really ramping up our wars in Italy, which is great. Because now we don't have to worry about the south. I was a little concerned when we were initially starting this invasion of Naples, that these guys eventually would do something. And they did. But now... Now it does not matter. It does not fucking matter one bit. Also, I've got this bombard. Hopefully you have enough ammo to break down the gates. Actually, I might just have you hit the walls, honestly. Just to make sure you hit them. Well, let's try the gates first. As you're a big ass boy that needs to try and uh, actually hit things. Hopefully you don't miss. Because you're about as close as I can have you. I need to a little bit closer. And so I'm just worried about you being shot at by towers or something and then just burning and then we don't have any men to actually properly get through here. And you're wildly inaccurate. So we'll have to see how this goes. So you guys up. Uh, infantry and skirmishers up. Can't tell how much damage they've done to it so far. How much damage are they doing per shot? Because the moment you do, you have dealt some damage, but I just don't know how much. Let's kind of move up a little bit more. There we go. So it's at sixty percent. Oh, okay, you did forty percent per shot. Okay, nice. So they've got uh, some of their infantry here. Let's have my infantry kind of push on in, and then uh, I want to see how much damage you do to the walls. Let's see how much damage you can do with the grand bomb. Or sixteen percent. Okay. 16% with one shot. Not bad. If you can break down the wall section, that'd be perfect. So then I can try and actually flank on in. Just please don't run out of ammo before I do. Because my infantry is slowly making their way over here. They're just about here. Walls are at 64%. Come on, just a couple more hits. I just need you guys to be able to flank them too. Because I don't want to have to fight every single one of you. I do want to try and make sure I can take advantage of my uh, skirmisher units that I have around here. Give grace to God. Because we're well there. We have captured the enemy's walls. Oh, come on, like two more good hits, and then this wall section breaks. 
it is unwise to praise One more the day hit. before sunset. But okay, because at the moment you guys are doing well here so far. Yeah, five to two, not bad. A worthy victory. Maybe generals right there. I'm gonna start bringing up the uh, Greek fire. Let's bring you up, and then also other my skirmisher units as well. Can I make your way up this way? It took you guys long enough. I was curious if you were going to just keep missing, like, the broadside of a barn. But no, you finally pushed through. Um, hey, Greek Fire, do you just want to just, just you, come forward and try and hit this uh, general? Because the 20% of the forces are dead at this moment. I'm going to try and have you... Eh, you don't need to break the other section down. I think one's plenty. Just need to have my infantry hopefully hold out. Keep trying to focus on the general. The Greek Fire... Oh, here you come. Please don't interrupt me. Please don't interrupt me. Okay, just kind of line up here. I'll have you just kind of shoot these guys a little bit first. Hello, I see you're trying to defend your gates. Uh, unload on them, please. Point blank range. Oh, God. The guys in front. I think they might be scarred. They just saw those guys liquefy before their eyes. Okay. Uh, do it to the general, please. Please. The there we go. Didn't kill him, the but battle. the enemy is now running, so that's good this enough. So, now, Palermo is now under our control. Sicily is now power. returned to the Empire. And we now don't have to worry about the South, which is great. And we just recently got some reinforcements to help out with Naples, so now we can have Constant uh, Constantinos and Ladislao both working together to finish off Naples and prepare the invasion for Italy and Rome in general. I am debating... When we are ready, do I want to betray Genoa at the same time, or do I want to leave them alone? The enemy are beaten. You guys will technically live one more turn, but I think this is, uh, you guys will hopefully just give up. Wow, it's going up 12% per turn, holy shit. Um, that's my hope, because at the moment, you're still sieging me, but you have no cities. They might just at attack immediately, though. No we'll have to wars. see, but if anything at all, at least. We have plenty of men around yes, here so that I can easily defeat yes, these two well other armies. Then. But you can at least... Yes. Oh, I can actually assault this right now, but we're going to hold off for now. I might actually want to fight them myself, just in case. Um, so in me... No! You plagued! That's not is good. Okay, wars, but I think this is going to be a pretty good place to end this video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign and any other thoughts you have on it in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.